What was the trouble? ¿Qué fue el problema? Listen, I teach graduate students of theology. Yo enseño a estudiantes que, que se gradúan And I ask them question. Y le hago preguntas. What are you saved from? ¿Qué, ¿De qué fuiste salvo? And they try to, and they bring me the, like, theological talk. Y me hablan de eh, un lenguaje teológico. Sometimes that is absolutely not human. Que no es ni humano. It's like a special jargon. It's like es, special, like, special language that nobody outside of the seminary understands. Sí, ese es un lenguaje especial que, que nada más ellos entienden. So tell people what was the trouble. Why they need this salvation. Explícale por qué necesitan la salvación. Don't just like, believe in Jesus, you will be saved. No más diga, cree en Jesús y serás salvo. Why Jesus? Why is what saved Porque, from just, I don't understand this. Porque okay, el judío I mean, no va a entender I, eso. If I'm just a secular person. Or, si uh, soy un secularista Jew. judío, no lo voy a entender. So you can talk about uh, the atonement, about uh, uh, forgiveness, but... Always uh, sing, uh, just sing. Hable del perdón, hable del sacrificio. Think of your concepts. Uh, Try to describe your concepts. Describa sus conceptos. Uh, Old Testament. Viejo Testamento. Uh, there is no such thing uh, as the Old Testament, actually, no even in the Bible. No hay tal cosa como Viejo Testamento. I mean, uh, it's the wrong name. Es el nombre incorrecto. Uh, There was a uh, previous covenant. Hay un pacto previo. That is, uh, and there is a new covenant. Y hay un pacto renovado. But not testament. Pero no testamento. Uh, instead, I would say Tanakh. En vez de, yo diría Tanakh. It's a abbreviation of Torah, Navim, and Ketuvim, Torah, Es una abbreviation de Torah. And prophets. Este, profetas, escrituras. Or the Hebrew Bible. O la Biblia hebrea. In uh, Protestant Christianity. En el cristianismo protestante. We have uh, the same Bible as the Hebrew Bible. Tenemos la misma Biblia que la Biblia hebrea. Um, try, uh, try avoid uh, also very very common for Christianity terminology like blood of the lamb una terminología del cristianismo es la sangre del cordero or animal uh, terminology even like lion from the tribe of Judah o como la terminología león de la tribu de Judá explain it tienes que explicar eso if you have uh, if you want to have a fun experience si quieres tener un tiempo gracioso, Next time you participate in Christian worship, cuando usted music, participe en adoración worship, cristiana, listen to the words of the oiga songs. las palabras. And, uh, sometimes you will have much fun. Y vas a tener bastante risa. Just imagine yourself being like somebody from a street. Imagínese que alguien venga de la calle a oírte a ti cantar. Coming into, the, uh, into this uh, church and then Entrando listening. Esta congregación, I'm washed by the blood of the Lamb. Y alguien se para y dice, yo soy lavado por la sangre del Cordero. Can you imagine how crazy it sounds for somebody Suena who doesn't know what you're talking about? Suena muy loco para alguien que no about. sabe lo que Some songs, they have even like uh, very strange content. Y algunos cantos tienen unos contenidos muy extraños. My God who died on the cross. Como así, mi Dios que murió en la cruz. God died on the cross. Dios murió en la cruz. There is a need of some clarification Hay to que that. clarificar, clara, aclarar esto. So, uh, try, to, try to think, uh, like, so, put yourself in a, in a place of unbelievers. Póngase en el lugar de alguien que nunca ha oído estos Jewish términos. Person. You can keep singing washed by the blood of the lamb. Tú puedes seguir cantando que eres sido lavado por la sangre de Jesús. It's de fine because you understand what you mean. Pero está bien porque tú entiendes lo que quiere decir. But for unbelievers they don't understand Pero your el terminology. Pero que no cree que no, no lo entiende. Not necessary. Uh, when you talk about uh, repentance? Cuando hablamos de arrepentimiento. We already uh, we already uh, talked about that it's return to God. Hablamos ya que es un regresar a Dios. 
You remember probably it's like prodigal son. Es como el hijo pródigo. That's a very good clear picture of repentance. Ahí hay un mindset. retrato muy claro lo que es arrepentimiento. He left. Salió. And then he returned. Y luego regresó. That's uh, the Shuba thing you said, right? Shuba, yeah. So that's that's Eso the es Shuba, que se fue y regresó. When you talk about the baptism, cuando hablamos del bautismo, uh, it's for Jewish people it may sound very like something Christian. Suena para esa palabra para el, para el judío como algo cristiano. Or related to a Baptist church. O relacionado a la iglesia bautista. Yeah, you know that for Jewish uh, uh, people when they hear John the Baptist, cuando el judío hoy oye Juan el Bautista, they may think that he was Southern Baptist. Ellos pueden creer que eras bautistas del sur. Uh, because we don't understand, we don't know initially Porque this terminology. Porque nosotros no entendemos esos términos. By the way, Jewish people may think that Jesus was a Catholic. Ah, pueden pensar que Jesús era un católico. Because, uh, because. Uh, when they see Jew, uh, Christ, uh, Catholic churches or house, uh, houses, porque cuando ven las iglesias católicas, sometimes there is a woman with a baby, like a statue, que hay como una estatua con una mujer con un bebé, and they know that it's Mary and Jesus. Y ellos dicen es María y Jesús. But she is in the Catholic house. Pero está en la, en la iglesia católica. She is a Catholic. Y es católica. And her child is. Y su hijo. Catholic. Católico. Uh, it may sound funny, y puede ser, suena curioso, but it's very natural for some people who don't know the specific think this es way. Muy común que so baptism, así que bautismo, uh, it's a very old Jewish ritual es un rito antiguo judío, called mikveh, que se or llama tvila in, in a bass, in a ritual bass called mikveh. Mikvah. Uh, you can talk about Jewish roots of this. Y tú puedes hablar de las raíces hebraicas concerniente a esto. Uh, born again. O la palabra nacido de nuevo. Uh, do you remember uh, Nicodemus coming to, uh, uh, to uh, Yeshua talking about born again? Recuerden a Nicodemo que vino a hablar a Yeshua sobre nacer de nuevo. In Jewish tradition there are several new births. En la tradición eh, hebrea hay varios nuevos nacimientos. One if when you're born. Una cuando naces. Then when uh, the child is circumcised. Cuando el niño es circuncidado. It's a new birth. Es un nuevo nacimiento. Then bar mitzvah. Y luego el bar mitzvah. It's a new birth. Es un nuevo nacimiento. Then marriage. Y luego casamiento es otra nuevo and nacimiento. And ordination. Y la ordenación. As a rabbi. It's como the rabino. last. New birth. Ese es el último nuevo nacimiento. Nicodemus had that all. Y Nicodemus tenía todos esos nacimientos. He probably couldn't, uh, he could have some difficulties y to understand how can he do it again. Por eso tenía una dificultad en des, eh, cuando él dijo, ¿cómo puedo yo nacer de nuevo? But uh, at the same time, new birth related to the new heart, according to like uh, Eze uh, Eze Ezekiel. Uh, uh, de acuerdo a Ezequiel, el, el, el nuevo nacimiento tenía que ver muchas veces con el corazón. And according to some other prophets. Y otros profetas también lo I dijeron. I will give you new heart. Yo te daré un nuevo corazón. And it's a new life. Y eso it's es una nueva verse. vida. So when you talk about being born again. Cuando tú hablas de nacer de nuevo. Explain what you mean. Explica lo que quieres decir. It's absolutely quality in your life because like you are getting like a new heart. Porque es como que estás obteniendo un nuevo corazón. Heart of obedience to God's commandments uh, and to his path. Un corazón de obediencia a sus, a sus mandamientos. Any questions? Preguntas. What time uh, are we supposed to finish? At two? What, uh, what time is our flight? 4.30. So we have, so, we have some time? I think it's 4 o'clock. Yeah. It's been delayed. Uh, how far is the airport from here? Which airport are you going? You going to the McAllen Airport? Yeah, it's 10, 15, about 15 minutes. Very easy. Yeah, it's a small airport. An hour and 15 minutes. 
Okay. So our fly, uh, fly, the flight from Dallas uh, delayed as well? Because it's important to see when the f that flight arrives. Because with that, without that flight, we, we go nowhere. <coughs> You know what? Let, uh, let us take a, a short break and then see what we can do with, Jew, uh, with the Messiah and Jewish holidays, okay? And Jewish traditions. Maybe uh, let's, let's take like five minutes quick break if you need to use some rooms there. Cinco minutos de descanso. <laughs> 